Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shout out to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson on this Shabbat, uh, March the 23rd, 2022. And this is a. Uh, Um, yeah, on this Wednesday afternoon, Salakia, and and the title of this uh, quick sit down lesson is going to be uh, knowing, you know, uh, knowing also in the last days, uh, perilous times should come. And this is the book of Second Timothy, chapter three, verse one, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. It says, uh, "This knowing also in the last days, perilous times shall come." Right, because you know we are living in those times in the last days. You know, especially what's you know you're seeing what's going on. You know, you have evil demonic spirits around you and trying to tempt you tempt you to be like that you know and uh especially with all the uh, crime that's going on and it's increasingly just like the scripture says the love of men is your wax cold you starting to see that increase in the last days you know you're starting to see uh upwards of the people uh, the nations shall rise against nations and the kingdom against kingdoms. Now you're starting to see the increase of uh, the love of many waxing cold. I believe it was uh, earlier today. Uh, it's this Judite, so called African American. I believe he was a uh, he he was at his uh, job. I believe. Um, I'm not for sure. Uh, he was a former worker there. But he had a long uh, criminal past or whatever. And then he, uh, I don't know, he had some type of uh, issue with his co-workers or something like that. And then, yeah, I guess he went inside the uh, workplace. I don't know if it was outside or inside the workplace. And he uh, shot shot about two or three of his co-workers. And I uh, uh, think he took his own life as soon as the authorities try to arrive at the scene so you know you see in many cases like this for an examples of a love of many wax and cold and perilous times in the last days you know because we are definitely are living in those times you know like the scripture said this is the beginning of sorrows because you know we are in the beginning stages of sorrows and many more to come especially with that current situation over there in the Ukraine you know, that place looked like a desolate, you know, certain parts over there in Ukraine. You know, they war with each other over there. Those uh, different Idumians, you know. And you got uh, rumors of wars increasing on a daily basis, you know. And you got the uh, full digital currency that's coming as well, too. And that's when that hour of temptation comes in. In, aid of, in order to sustain yourself in this society, you know, you got to have that stuff implemented in you, which is the book of Revelations 13, verse 16 through 17. So, yeah, we are definitely living in those times of perilous times. And it's going to increase, you know, in the last days. Uh, and there was another scripture that I wanted to bring out. I had seen it. Right. And this is the book of uh, 1 John, chapter 2, verse 18, in the reads of the Holy Scriptures. Little children, it is the last times as ye have heard that the anti Hamashiach Yahweh shall come. Even now are there many 
anti Hamashiach and Havashai's. Where about you know that is is the last time. Right, you're gonna have uh like the scriptures say, uh many false prophets come with that uh false doctrine, you know, love everybody doctrine. You know, uh that new one everybody all this one together agenda, you know. And many other different things as well too. Like scripture says there's gonna be with uh a wolf and sheep clothing, I believe. And many false prophets and many uh Hamashiach Havashas. You know, it's gonna be many people that come in the name if uh you know, as many people that's gonna be coming in the name of uh Hamashiach Havasha, but they not, you know, bringing out that uh, true doctrine, that true 100% truth, you know, of the scriptures, you know, and they think in these scriptures is, is for everybody, which, you know, that's something totally opposite. The scripture says different, you know. You know, this scripture is the, the kind of say Israel, which is the biblical Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the bird Israelites as well, too. Now, you know, you have our pastors come with that false doctrine and that love everybody and prosperity doctrine, you know, while they're taking your money, your tithes, while they're getting paid and stuff like that. You know, you're going to have a lot of whoop and she's closing in our community as well, too, with these uh, pastors and stuff, you know. You know that, like the scripture says, uh, these pastors lead, uh, yeah, yeah, how uh, sheep to the slaughter, you know, and these fall pastors, and you have a sh and the heavenly father is gonna come towards, uh, you pastors as well, too, because you're not, uh, teaching Israel who they are, you know. It, like the scripture says, uh, feed my sheep, you know, and these, these pastors of our nation, of the 12 tribes of Israel, supposed to be teaching us, you know, supposed to be teaching our elders, but you know, they're not doing that, you know. So yeah, uh, hey, in the last days, it's gonna be false, false uh, anti hamashiach Yahweh in these last days as well too. And it's going to continue to be uh, a lot of wolf and sheep closing in the last days as well, too. There's going to be an increase of uh, false prophets in these last days. And, uh, and, and, and Yahweh Shai is going to expose them. You know, Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to expose these uh, false prophets and these false teachers, you know. And we're starting to see it as, as the days go on, you know, especially currently in the last days, you know. And this is the book of, uh, matter of fact, I'm bringing this scripture up. Uh, this is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 3 and through verse 12, through the Holy Scriptures. In verse 3, and it reads, Let no man deceive you by any means, for the day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that the man sin be revealed is the son of addition right these idumians you know he's gonna be revealed these last days and he's starting starting to show that he's he being revealed that he's the, the deceiver on the planet earth you know and verse four who oppose and exalt himself above as idumians even though you know we got the people of of our own nation as well too including the other gentile nations and I'm reading again for edification's sake. And this is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 3, and through verse 12 and verse 4. And it reads, Who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called Yahweh thy power, or that is worship, you know, which is Esau, you know, Idumians, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, so that he has 
Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, sit it in the temple of Yahweh, soothe himself that he is Yahweh, thy power, right? You know, these Idumians, you know, they think they the Heavenly Father. They think they the uh, Yahweh, thy power, you know? You know, that's that's going off, you know? And there's going to be a lot of rec recompense for that, you know? Uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah is going to expose these Idumians. You know, you just a base man. You know, the most high created you, uh, Idumians, you know. You trying to exalt yourself like the most high. You can't exalt yourself like the most high, you know. You just man, you the basis of man. So how you gonna have yourself exalted as the most high, you know. That's completely going off, you know. That he sitteth, that he is as Yahweh thy power sitteth in the temple of Yahweh. And soon himself that he is Yahweh thy power, which is going off completely not good. That's 100% wrong, you know. And it's going to be recompense for that when Yahweh, one, the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, going to expose you and there's going to be judgment for that, you know. And verse 6, no, verse 5, oh man, Salaki. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, right? Because Yahweh Bashem El Shai told us these things written before, you know, written before our, our time, you know. And these are coming to pass as we see it right in front of our eyes, you know. Yahweh Bashem El Shai, you know, is telling us these things, you know. Starting with the elders, apostles on down. And, you know, in the elders in our camp, and the elders throughout the four corners of the globe, the uh, bishops and the deacons, and the Akim and the Brotherhood, <clears throat> you know, as we, you know, continue to learn from them, you know, and still to this day, you know, and the Wadi Al Bashim Al Shaf is setting up men like that, you know, setting these men up, you know, uh, the, the proper, correct, 100% doctrinal way. Which is uh, GMS, the Great Millstone. You know they have that hundred percent truth, that uh, true sound doctrine. You know they they break down the scriptures the correct way. You know and still to this day, it's still right at this moment. You know, and the Wadi Al Bashim Al Shaf is setting up men for us to can, uh, continue to learn these things. You know, in these last days. You know, and verse six, and know ye know what withhold that he might be revealed in his time and verse 7 for the mystery of iniquity that already worked only he who now know little will let until be taken out of the way in verse 8 and he shall take the wicked be revealed right I do means whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yep, you have a shot. And with the holy angels and the chariots, <coughs> and his, with his elect men. In verse 9, even him who is coming in after the works of Satan, which is the seed of the old world, and with all power and science and lying wonders. In verse 10, and with all the deceiver bullets. Of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that might be saved. And for this cause, Yahweh thy power shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie, right? Yahweh uh, Shemel Shah sending these the strong delusions, you know. All these Idumian lies, you know. In verse 12, that they also might be damned who believe not the truth but has pleasure in unrighteousness. Right? You know, people that's, you know, learn from their own ways. You know, like scripture says, lead not unto your own understanding, you know. That's why it's. 
good to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is in the book of Isaiah 33 and 6, you know. And, you know, and you have Bashim Al Shai set it up for the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, you know, teach the right 100% correct doctrine. You know, that's how you have Bashim Al Shai set it up. And then you have the ambassadors of Yahweh Shai, you know, the servants, the true prophets of Yahweh Shai, you know. Let <clears throat> me um, see some more scriptures, or it might be it. Uh, I can come with this one uh, Genesis chapter 49, verse 1, and it reads, And Jacob call unto his sons and say gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall be befall you in the last days right so you know uh, like scripture says gather yourselves together O nation not desired because you know you're not going to be fully desired in Babylon especially when you're speaking in this truth you know you should be hated for for, you know, for your about Shem Al Shai's sake, you know, because you know, because people are gonna look at you crazy, people are gonna think that you're crazy, weird, and awkward, and strange, you know, and think you're crazy for preaching this truth, you know. Like scripture says, you know, they should hate Yahweh Shai, then they should hate you. If they, they if they hated Yahweh Shai back then, they should hate you, you know, for this truth. You know, for his name's sake, you know. They're going to hate you for, for his name's sake, you know. So you're going to, like, you know, uh, like scripture says, uh, you're going to have scoffers and mockers in the last days from your uh, family members, from the people of our own nation. When they walk past, laugh, mock, scoff, ignore. You know, like scripture says, part for side unto the wind, you know. But I'm not trying to really get off topic, you know, but uh, back to the matter at, at hand, uh, what I was doing for this sit down lesson, you know. So yeah, you know, uh, in the last days, uh, perilous times should come. And I'm gonna look up the definition of perilous times. So lock it. Hazardous, precautious, perilous, risky, meaning bringing or involving a chance of loss or injury. Yep, so yeah, so that's upcoming impending danger, you know, and that's what's in the times that we are living in, you know. Especially with all these different uh, many events that's been going on in the year of January, all the way into March now. Now we're uh, entering uh, April. <coughs> so, yeah, you know, this is the year of uh, 2022 of uh, Yahweh Bashem Al Shaz turning up the heat. You know, just like the uh, elder Apostle Tahar made that uh, statement in the year of January uh, the 1st of 2022 of this year, you know. You know, once he made that statement of uh, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai turning up the heat, once he made that statement, hey man, been a lot of judgment and a lot of prophecies and a lot of different events been going on the whole planet Earth, you know. And so, with that, I uh, hope this uh, quick sit down lesson was edifying on this Shabbat, uh, on this Wednesday night, uh, March the 23rd, 2022. And I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, uh, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. Uh, shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely.
And shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, prisoner's word, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shabbat Shalom.